Now, I know what you're thinking. What happened to that weird dark abyss where uh, Matt and Ben and Agent Scully were hanging out? Well, no worries. Matt's still here behind the camera, right, Matt? Yes, sir. Uh, we've still got Agent Scully somewhere in a moving box, which I guess if it's a moving box and it's a skeleton, that makes it a coffin. But anyway, this is stuff they don't want you to know, and we're in a brand new place. But we're still here every week answering the same questions and looking into the same mysteries we've always searched for. And today we're bringing you a very interesting one. You already saw the title. I mean, it's not really a spoiler. Will Yellowstone explode? For very many people, that is a weird question because you say, what? America's oldest national park. That's beautiful. You know, Grant was right. There is nothing there that could explode unless I know a lot less about bison than I thought I did. Maybe a better way to say it is, will Yellowstone erupt? You see, because in addition to being the oldest national park in the United States, Yellowstone itself sits atop what's called a super volcano or a caldera. This thing is over 30 miles. It's thousands of feet deep. It's the reason that Old Faithful shoots up at that normal schedule. It could erupt. And if it does erupt, it would pretty much ruin the United States. We're talking dystopian visions of people all across the West Coast uh, flocking and forming refugee camps on the border of Canada and Mexico, begging to be let in away from the ash that will destroy everything. Now, of course, that's the uh, dystopian view, but it's not based on some unreasonable idea. It's not based on some crazy assumption. In fact, Yellowstone has erupted not once in the past, not twice, but three times with super eruptions. And this doesn't even count the normal little uh, regular eruptions. The difference between a super volcano and a regular volcano is that a super volcano emits more than a trillion tons when it erupts. And here's the thing, there have been scares in the past few years, fairly recently, about when this volcano will actually erupt, when this caldera will stop puffing out a uh, hot water and geyser form and then turn into an ash cloud of biblical proportion because the last major eruption was about 640,000 years ago and some of the experts say this occurs every 700,000 years and once you see bison running away uh, without any other explanation and once you start tracing seismic activity you can see why people would build a case for a cataclysmic eruption within our lifetimes and this leads people not just in the united states but around the world to say that there might be a cover-up afoot that the u.s geological service or the u.s government knows about the likelihood of an eruption that this may be more dangerous indeed to some world governments uh, than World War III or climate change. And it's true that the British government did put out a report talking about seismic activity being much more destructive than those other two events. Of course, that was a number of years ago and they were talking about Iceland, not about Wyoming where Yellowstone is located. The good news is this, from everything we could find, the chances of an eruption occurring in your lifetime is going to be about one in 10,000. Not the best odds, but still somewhat reassuring, at least that is, if the information that Matt and I are finding is correct. So what do you think? Will Yellowstone explode? Are we sitting on top of a ticking time bomb? The answer to that one is yes. We're just arguing about the timer at this point. Thank you so much for watching. Write to us, let us know what you think. Stay tuned because you're going to be seeing us in a lot of strange places as we explore our new space. I mean, at least until we get fired or uh, disappeared or, you know, whatever happens. So we will see you next time. If you have any ideas for future topics we should cover, find us on Facebook, find us on Twitter. We're conspiracy stuff at both of those. Visit our website, stuffthey'llwantyouknow.com and you can always send us an email directly, especially if you like us, don't trust Facebook. We are conspiracy at howstuffworks.com. So it's February as we record this, and uh, one of the most divisive holidays around is coming up Valentine's Day. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it, a lot of people just feel obligated to get chocolates or whatever. Uh, and sometimes people decide to propose on this day. And when they do, typically in the West, they get what? That's right a diamond ring, but why? Stay tuned, we'll be back next week. See you next time.